Hello internet, it's April 2020 in New York, and that means uh, it's quarantine time. Uh, I know it's a bad time, but I'm making the best of it. It just so happens that um, I planned on uh, converting my Jeep, uh, the back of the Jeep, into a, like a little camper bed area. Um, so I have a lot of time now, which is great. I want to take you through the process of uh, me building it. Uh, I think it'll be interesting, and uh, maybe it'll help other people out trying to do something similar. Um, so what I'm trying to do, I'm building, uh, basically, uh, a full a bed platform for two people in the back. I took out the rear seats. Um, I'm not having, like, a rooftop tent or anything. Like, a lot of, like, Jeeps I see online have, uh, rooftop tents, and they opt for storage in the back. I'm doing bed in the back and then storage on top. Um, I'm doing that because I want to value just being able to... Um, being able to just go to bed whenever having a bed you don't have to like uh, set up a whole rooftop tent and this way you can you can go and sleep anywhere in parking lots because I feel like that will be kind of common um, wherever you need to sleep and then if you're out in nature I have tents and I can just tent up right next to the Jeep I don't really need a rooftop tent um, but yeah that's uh, my process I'll show you what I'm doing so far. So right now, I'm just cutting pieces. Um, it's actually taken a while. A lot of these pieces need to be tailored to the inside of the vehicle. Um, I wanted it as low as possible um, to just give enough headspace and be comfortable because not only will you be on top of this, but also the mattress. Um, the limiting factor for that was the cooler or the fridge. I'm gonna, there's a Yeti fits into here and uh, the platform will just ride right above it. So that was the lowest I can go. Um, but yeah, basically the structure is three, three frames going parallel to the length of the Jeep and this piece included and this is the the thicker piece of wood most of it is quarter uh, half inch plywood um, and so the back area are these three pieces of wood with the platform on top eventually there will be draws coming out and the front area this side like I mentioned is the yet the Yeti cooler it'll be pulled out and then on this side there's just all pieces of wood right now but they all fit together um, I'm building a, a box to put a lock on it to store camera equipment and whatnot but that side will just be the lock box and then underneath will be some more storage so that'll be like the main that'll be the main uh, storage area there will also be in these back areas with the roll bar coming down it's gonna be covered um, and there's gonna be a cabinet coming up and over and that'll be just a little more storage yeah that's the plan I'm almost done cutting the pieces I need to cut the cabinet pieces which I'll need to fit with the roll bar and then I can start uh, treating the wood and painting whatever pieces I want before screwing it all together all right took uh, took a while but I finally got all the pieces cut um, it's actually a lot of pieces uh, they're kind of they're all scattered about over there but uh, Right now I'm uh, painting them. I'm sanding and painting. Um, it's gonna take a, probably the whole day. And then after that, I can start assembling the foundation um, and just take it from there. And then as I go along, I'll kind of know more about pieces and whatnot and like uh, what else I need to attach and screw. So it's kind of just going with the flow. it's the next day uh, it took all of yesterday to paint these pieces uh, I thought it would go by quicker but uh, it actually took a while 
um, but it's done and I'm happy now. Um, let me show you. These are some of the pieces. It actually looks pretty good. Um, it's all of them I painted white and it goes well with the kind of white and black theme of the Jeep already in the front so I think it'll carry over nice to the back. Um, today's finally the day where I'm actually going to permanently put something in the Jeep. Um, I'm going to start with these foundation pieces and just start screwing and drilling in. And one last thing I forgot to mention, um, the whole box system is going to be mounted onto the Jeep via these two bolts, or really just this one. Um, I have these 8th inch steel L brackets that'll mount on nicely, they're already very firm, and then they'll mount to these pieces right here, and that'll give that'll give sort of the foundation of this whole thing and make sure it doesn't rock back and forth um, as I drive around and whatnot. day uh, I thought spring supposed to get nicer out but it seems like it's getting colder I actually haven't filmed in a while um, so I'll give you an update now not much has actually been done um, I hit a bump in the road with the side drawer with the cooler um, I was getting really frustrated it was it's a it's a really tight area to put uh, a drawer space in and it's hard to get it level there's so many little nuanced things so um, I ended up getting really frustrated and thank God I have uh, a super experienced father. Um, he's the one providing all the, the power tools and uh, design knowledge. Um, yeah, so I had to call in the cavalry. He, he actually helped me uh, and uh, we got it done. It took a little bit of time. I'll show you right now. Um, so this is the final product. Um, like I said, when I started, I was. It, it's just so hard. Look how tight this is. And I really had no room for error. Um, so I had to get these level. And I was just having a hard time. So my dad came out and helped me. Um, I learned a lot from this. Uh, I made a, a really good frame. We basically had no room for width. Barely any room for height. And, um, and even still with the cooler in, it comes up a little higher than the platform is supposed to be. So we're going to have to raise it about uh, an inch or so. Maybe a little less. But um, it's really nice, the final product comes out. So now that that's over, the next step is the big drawers in the back. Uh, so the other day, that's what I spent doing, um, making out of three quarter inch plywood right here. Um, glad I went with three quarter inch, it's very, very sturdy. Um, yeah, these were uh, put together with glue, uh, nails, and screws, so it should be really uh, tight and secure, sturdy. And then we have these mammoth uh, sliders that will go on each side. Um, so right now, um, trying to get the the sliders level and then we're gonna install them. The hardest part is in the middle, there's gonna be two sliders on either side, so what's probably gonna happen is a, a nut and bolt, and then they'll, they'll connect together with the wood in the middle, and then the sides. Because I chose half-inch plywood, uh, it'll need to be backed uh, with 
uh, like a one buy. Um, but yeah, that's the next step. And then uh, after after those are installed and sliding, uh, then the top can be put on, and then it's like essentially done. And then I'll just uh, customize it to what I want. Um, I'll customize the drawers. Uh, I want. I have another set of draw, uh, sliders to go in the drawer for the stove. Um, I actually have to build the little cabinets for uh, the sides on the roll bars. Um, yeah, so after this, the main project's done and then uh, many uh, mini projects begin. All right, it's been a few days, but I can finally call phase one complete. Let me show you what I did. So, biggest change are these two cabinets. I'm pretty excited for this. Um, they're two two identical cabinets. They have uh, kind of two shelves, one here and one here. So there's two areas to put things in. This will be really cool for just storing things, uh, whatever I need uh, from the back if I'm laying in here to quick access. They're all with these little magnetic uh, latches so hopefully they don't come flying off when I'm driving but yeah um, I put in the cabinets I put in this little um, this little opening to get to the drawer underneath um, I put so I put holes I cut out what I needed to in the drawers so this um, will this area and this kind of opening will eventually hold my water jug where it'll be encased in a space and it will be open so I can just get to water whenever I need it. Uh, I don't have to open the drawer. And then both, both drawers I put a little sliding kind of countertop that I put with a polyurethane on top. So now um, both, both drawers have counter space and the coolest thing that I put slide out drawer so now look at that it's basically a full kitchen so this will be really awesome for preparing food cooking food honestly I feel like I have enough counter space to make a nice meal for a couple people um, what else did I do? Um, and then I just finally got to install the lockbox. A little crooked, but it's okay. And um, got to put the fire hydrant in. And then the last thing, the last thing I put in were these bed extensions. So now push that down. It's kind of weirdly supported by uh, the chair itself. It, it's not gonna fold down uh, no one's putting all their body weight on here but uh, this easily gets a six foot person to lay in here so that is phase one of this build I hope you liked it uh, I'm definitely not close to done there's a lot of things to do um, this is just kind of like the bare bones what was necessary but it took a lot of work um, I got a lot of things to do next uh, install a roof rack um, Got to get the bed made and sewed, and there's so much to do. So I guess I'll update with uh, more videos as time goes on. Thanks for watching.